All right, I'm Frank, I'm the artist for Farce, and I'm gonna show you how to make your very own Farce. When you first install the application from iTunes, you might not be able to use the play button or the edit button because you might not have an existing Farce <clears throat> to play or edit. So you'll have to create a new one, which is what we'll do right now. This screen is asking us to select a photo from our library or select one from another Farce. If we don't have another farce, we won't be able to use that option, so we'll have to pick one from our library, a photo from our library. All right, I'm gonna scroll here and pick one that I like. Now this screen here is asking us to use this bounding box to select part of our photo. So I'm gonna pinch and pull this until I get it just right, and I'm gonna center it on the part of the picture I wanna use for the farce. When it's ready, just hit done. And it'll take us to the screen where we can actually draw the mouth. So the first thing we wanna do is position the pencil to the beginning of the mouth, right between where the two lips meet. When it's positioned correctly, hit, hit the start drawing button, and then all you have to do is trace the mouth opening, or where the two lips meet you don't have to draw the entire mouth. When the mouth is finished, hit the button. Oh. Oh. Now I feel better. If you're satisfied with the way the mouth looks, you can hit the done button, you can redraw the mouth, or if you wanna make the chin different, you can do that as well by first positioning the pencil, hit the trace chin button, and then draw the new uh, location of the chin. And then hit chin finished, now we have a different looking mouth. You can test it out again. Oh. Oh. Now I feel better. Great. And when you're satisfied, you can hit done. Or if you get lost at any time, you can hit the um, little question mark in the upper right hand corner. It'll bring you to a built in walkthrough. It has screens of, of everything in the, in the application. All right, I'm satisfied with that, so we'll hit done. And now we'll go to the screen where you can actually record what the farce is going to say. So when you've thought of something, just hit the red button and start talking. Hello, I'm a gnome. And thanks to this wonderful application called Farce, I can now talk. Alright, and then just hit the button again to stop recording. When we go to the next screen, it's going to first ask us to name the farce and save it. So we'll just call it test for now. All right, now on this screen, this is where we can actually add different effects like uh, animations, props, and sound effects. So I'm gonna pick some sunglasses to give them. We'll use these Buddy Holly sunglasses. Now with all of our, with all of our props, you can scale them and rotate them to fit your, your picture. And once it's in the right position, just let it go. That'll work. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna actually seek the audio to right where he stops talking, and I'm gonna add a sound effect to that. So if you told like a really bad joke, you can add a rim shot to that, or whatever you like. There's a lot of sound effects. We'll add this one. All right, here's a little icon that tells us we we're using a sound effect. And I'm actually gonna seek back to the beginning and then play it from the beginning to see what it sounds like. Hello, I'm a gnome. And thanks to this wonderful application called Foss, I can now talk. Yeah. All right, when you're satisfied, you can hit done or you can trash any of the effects that you don't like. And you can actually send this now to your, your friends or post it straight to YouTube. And there's the information you'll need to post it to YouTube or, or to send it through email. And that's it. So hopefully this will be one of many farces you'll create to your friends and coworkers and, and family.
Have fun.